Muhammad claimed to be God's final prophet, and yet he wasn't very good at doing things that other prophets could do. Many prophets validated their claims with miracles. Muhammad couldn't perform miracles. Muslims eventually made up a bunch of stories about Muhammad performing miracles. Unfortunately for them, the Quran had already declared over and over and over again that Muhammad couldn't perform miracles. Prophets called people away from paganism and idolatry. Muhammad didn't. He encouraged paganism and idolatry. In fact, no man in history has spread paganism and idolatry to more people than Muhammad. If you don't believe me, just observe Islamic prayer and worship. Muslims bow down to a pagan cube, walk circles around a pagan cube, and kiss a pagan rock, and somehow they think that this is the pure worship of the one true God. Finally, prophets predicted the future. Muhammad couldn't. Muhammad's strategy here seemed to be just say hundreds of different things about the future and eventually you'll get something right. The problem with this strategy is that you also end up getting lots of things wrong. And Muhammad got lots of things wrong. When it comes to fulfilled prophecy, an even bigger problem for Muhammad is that even when he got something right, by sheer luck, he said something else in the prophecy that made it completely useless to modern Muslims. In other words, Muslims today are scrambling to find some sort of evidence to support Muhammad. They would love to be able to point to fulfilled prophecies to show that Muhammad was a true prophet. But the one time Muhammad predicted the future and his prediction came true, Muslims can't even use the prediction as evidence because they're too embarrassed by something Muhammad added at the end of the prophecy. Let's read a couple of short passages to see what I mean here. Sahih al-Bukhari, 50, 58. Narrated Abu Sa'id al-Kudri, I heard Allah's messenger saying, There will appear some people among you whose salat, prayer, will make you look down upon yours, and whose psalm, fasting, will make you look down upon yours, and whose good deeds will make you look down upon yours. So they'll seem to be really, really good Muslims. But they will recite the Quran, which will not exceed their throats. They will not act on it. And they will go out of Islam, i.e. discard Islam, as an arrow goes out through the game, whereupon the archer would examine the arrowhead, but see nothing, and look at the unfeathered part of the arrow, but see nothing, and look at its feathers, but see nothing. And finally, he suspects to find something in its lower part. Muhammad says that there are going to be Muslims who seem devout, but who are going to leave Islam like an arrow leaves an animal it goes through. Just as an arrow can go through an animal so quickly that there's no blood on the arrow, so also these Muslims will leave Islam and you won't be able to find a trace of Islam on them. Yesterday, I posted a video about Muslim leaders predicting an avalanche of apostasy. Muslims are leaving Islam. They're shooting out of Islam like arrows. Why aren't Muslim leaders pointing to this prophecy of Muhammad? Why aren't Muslim leaders saying, yes, lots of young Muslims are abandoning Islam, but Muhammad predicted this, so it's actually proof that he's a true prophet. Why aren't they using this? Well, it's because, once again, Muhammad just couldn't keep his mouth shut. In other versions of this hadith, he tells his followers what to do about these young people who are abandoning Islam. Sahih al-Bukhari, 5057. Narrated Ali, I heard the prophet saying, In the last days of the world, there will appear young people with foolish thoughts and ideas. They will give good talks but they will go out of Islam as an arrow goes out through the game. Their faith will not exceed their throats, i.e. they will not have faith. So wherever you find them, kill them, for there will be a reward for their killers on the day of resurrection. Sahih al-Bukhari 3611 Narrated Ali, I relate the narrations of Allah's messenger to you, for I would rather fall from the sky than attribute something to him falsely. But when I tell you a thing which is between you and me, then no doubt war is guile. I heard Allah's messenger saying, In the last days of this world, 
there will appear some young foolish people who will use in their claim the best speech of all people, i.e. the Quran, and they will abandon Islam as an arrow going out through the game. Their belief will not go beyond their throats, i.e. they will have practically no belief. So wherever you meet them, kill them, for he who kills them shall get a reward on the day of resurrection. I don't know about you, but I find this absolutely hilarious. The closest thing Muslims have to a fulfilled prophecy of Muhammad is his prediction that in the last days, young Muslims will shoot out of Islam like arrows. Even this prophecy doesn't really work. If you read different versions of the prophecy, it falls apart. But it's the closest thing Muslims have to a fulfilled prophecy of Muhammad. Muhammad said that young Muslims would shoot out of Islam like arrows. We look around us and we see young Muslims leaving Islam in every direction like arrows. But Muslims can't even use this prophecy as evidence for their prophet because Muhammad ordered his followers to kill these young people. And Muslims today are so busy pretending that Islam is a religion of peace, they wouldn't dare point to passages where Muhammad is ordering his followers to execute young people for leaving Islam. Hence, Muhammad's only fulfilled prophecy is completely useless to Muslims. So Muslims are back to having no evidence whatsoever for their prophet. Oh, Muhammad, if incompetence were hot burning gas, you'd be a star.